The technician shortage has reached a crisis level today. We're going to find out why next. The most significant headwind facing the collision repair industry today is the technician shortage. Every shop in the industry, from small single shops to the largest consolidators, are constrained by an inadequate supply of trained technicians. Fewer techs means lower overall revenues. According to our recent report from Focus Advisors, considering that an average technician can generate $600,000 a year in repairs, the estimated nationwide shortage of 3,000 to 5,000 technicians translates into two to three billion dollars of unprocessed repair work. The pool of existing technicians is declining while the average age is increasing because the new younger technicians entering the business are fewer than those departing. Everyone from big consolidators to local MSOs are using everything in their tool chests to increase the supply. Paying bonuses to steal techs from competitors has reached its limits. Recruiting from high cost cities to lower cost areas continues to increase, but the most expensive and longest lead time method, according to Focus Advisors, is growing techs internally. Finding strong recruits, investing in training, retention, and attractive pay plans, and working conditions. As operators are pressed to increase compensation for techs, insurance company reimbursements for labor have not kept pace with this significant inflation. But the inflation in compensation isn't just with tech pay. Lower wage personnel are asking for more compensation and getting it. When McDonald's is paying $17 to $20 per hour in a market, recruiting entry-level service personnel is more expensive and the compensation increases flow up the entire employment ladder. One shop is tackling the wage issue through a blended compensation package of a base wage and an individualized performance-based bonus plan. The base wage is reflective of what the employee contributes to team goals, and the performance plan is more reflective of the employee's individual efforts in their role. The base wage is what the organization can afford to pay for that role, and the performance plan comes into effect when actions exceed the organization's goals. Other shops are changing the benefits package they offer. One shop moved to a professional employer organization through their payroll company and now offer 401k, health, dental, vision, long and short-term disability, life insurance, critical hospital care plans, accident plans, flexible spending accounts, and legal assistance. Education assistance is another key benefit you can offer. Paying for professional and technical training to keep your employees relevant and current with industry standards and foster personal growth. Another way shops can stay ahead is having the latest tools and equipment that will make a technician's job more efficient. You could also consider tuition reimbursement and subsidized childcare, for example. Look into other industries to see if there are any types of benefits gaining popularity that you have the wherewithal to provide. I'm Jason Stahl. Thanks for watching.